sweet. We have all the next fights streaming on YouTube. So that's sorted. How lucky is that? Working had a good champ and I'm dedicated to my team. I'm a champ, give me that bell, mom, and I'm leaking. So if you ever step in my way, go to sleep. Remember when they said I shouldn't and I probably couldn't, now look at me. Started from the bottom, facing all my problems, now I'm chasing all my dreams. Talking on my back, how hard is that? It looks easier than it seems. Y'all finna be tasting the feet. Go to sleep. Ever mention my name in it? The view room, go to sleep. When we in the cage and it's just me and you, bro, go to sleep. I'm gonna show y'all something new you ain't never knew about me. About me. Go to sleep. Took a couple losses, but I'm back now. Never shy away from a fight, I'll never back down. Capiche, you better listen when I speak. I'm Jordan, but not 23. That's Williams, but not from BC. The man that got hands full of heat. Promise, be honest, he ain't wanted with me. I train hard and I got hard like a beast. Anything to get me back on my feet. By all means, that's the difference in your seats. When I take your position up in the division, then it's me that's up in the lead. You believe? Know many times I failed and thought of bad luck. Been eating combinations out here like a snack, bruh. But what I'm throwing at your guard hits like a mad truck. You'll need your squad, a couple guards to pick you back up. Got my equipment in my chance for. So if it's beef, I'm always ready when I transfer. Don't look at me, I promise you'll get smashed up. Don't see it coming like it's fast for. So better watch who you ask for. Go sleep. Ever mention my name in it? The view room, go to sleep. When we in the cage and it's just me and you, bro, go to sleep. I'm gonna show y'all something new you ain't never knew about me. About me. Go to sleep. Ever mention my name in it? The view room, go to sleep. When we in the cage and it's just me and you, bro, go to sleep. I'm gonna show y'all something new you ain't never knew What up, everyone? What up? Sorry again for uh, the technical issues we were having, but we are ready to go with the last four fights on YouTube. We got the streams ready, everything's ready to go. A55 Lucky versus BMF Smudger up next with Nick Diaz versus A uh Nick Diaz versus Robbie Lawler. I almost called him A55 Lucky again. Very excited for these next few matchups. Uh we've talked about it many times, but uh there's some very interesting fights on this card, man. Very, very interesting fights. Yeah, with the matchups we are seeing up next. So we have Colby versus a GSP, we have Dominic Cruz versus Corey Sandeg in a fight I really want to see in real life. And uh Dustin Corey versus Conor McGregor the classic. Uh, and obviously the Nikia, as Robbie Lawler mentioned, it's just, you can't, it's, you can't see nothing but bangers coming up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, this next matchup we have here with this Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler pick. I mean, of course, we've been saying a bunch about it as we've been getting the stream back up, but uh, we're finally going to get to see it here in just a moment. Yeah, and it's going to be very interesting, uh, especially with the fact that I, I think, again, as I said before, that it stop working so we will see a decent amount of grappling in this fight and both men have great grappling credentials i love these picks just 
this fight in real life, both of them, the first one when they ever fought together, was an amazing fight. Robbie just starting out fresh. Yeah, he got KO'd bad in the first round with a, a check hook or a jab, one of the two, and uh, face plant KO'd. But in the, uh, the second fight, he came out, did what he needed to do for the first two rounds, and in the third, hit him with a beautiful uh, lead hook, and just Nick wanted no more of it, I guess, and uh, put him away in the third round. All right, we got our next fight finally underway. Get her going. Robbie is very sneaky on this game, man, with his hands. He is insanely good. Uh, like, as I said, the stats, they show lower power than they should. Like, every time he touches you, you're getting locked into place because of how powerful he is. And Nick has that volume for days. And he's, again, he's also more powerful than his stats say. He's, he's very, very uh, good with his hands. Getting caught with the body early, spongy. Nice slip hook. Ooh, and back corner into the body. Both guys staying right up the range of each other. Nice teeth kick there from Smedger. Double jab by Lucky. Uh, yeah, Lucky third. Now, it looks like Smedger is playing a, a, a very, very closer style of Nick Diaz. Uh, the, the pressure kind of style that we were used to seeing him do. Very interesting to see what, if Lucky can keep tagging him, uh, what that power will, will, will do. Yeah, definitely so. And uh, Smudger has the advantage in the stamina. Uh, he will have the advantage with the stat anyway. And he's looking to pull it on already. And Nick Diaz... He can go for days, man. He's got insane boxing, insane cardio. He has a really good chin. They're hard to put away with those Diaz first. Definitely Pick very up. hard to put away. But as we saw last week, the performance oh, was got, He worked he that body front. just as he did there. Smudger put it all out last week and put his opponent, got his opponent's body hurt very badly, and he's putting the combos together now, mixing them up nicely. And he's working that harder tremendously at the moment. Nice, nice straight. Three. Gotta be careful of that uppercut by both fighters, but... Ooh. 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 Take down. Immediate posture up off the fakes, landing a few shots, then going back down. Going in the half guard position. He gets the scroll. Who doesn't go for it? Nice denial there. Denied. Backside. See him constantly Ooh, that under under. Very, very dangerous on the ground. Even though he's not in control right now, he's in control. Nice. Ooh, big overhand lands for Lucky. Smedge returns with a body shot. He needs to look for more uppercuts off his jab because he's getting caught with the body bad. And Nick does have that body, uh, does have that uh, five-star body hook, I believe. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you can really time oh, it. Oh, beautiful. Nice wow. jab at the end of the round. Great fight we have so far. Yeah, he probably would have gotten put down if, uh, if uh, I believe Lucky, if Lucky would have uh, had more time to continue striking. But wow, what a change of events. Whew. Yeah, what a first round. BMF Smedger, of course, trying to start off the BMF show here, going four for four. Here we go, second round. Touch of the gloves. Straight into it by A55 Lucky. 
Rocky's got to get some more rocks in here because his body is damn as bad, and he's gonna. I think that'll play dividends. He gets oh, rock oh, the Nice head move from Smedger to avoid most of the damage there. And Smudger methodically picking apart that body. He's waiting. It's gonna pay dividends by the end of this round if if, if it if it. Uh, sorry, if he keeps working it like that. Yeah, gets and the tight. Yeah. Lucky must be sentin as he gets the takedown here. Denies the rubber guard. Right in the half guard position off the posture up. In the sprawl. Oh, Denies the backside attempt. Both guys so far really, really good denials here on the ground. The smedge is still feigning that uh, half guard or side control. <laughs> another big body blow from smedge. Body. Ooh, and that another pop. kick. Heavily damaged. Yeah, you're seeing it start to take effect here. Ooh. The Smedger's body health is lowering as well. Tries to get another pull elbow, but we way too far away. Oh, oh the upper oh. And he's taunting. Wow, beautiful hook feint into the body blow there from Smedger. Smedger's still pouring on that pressure with the combination. Lucky's having his moments here. He couldn't land something else. That body is done. Again, I'm surprised he hasn't hurt him the body yet. Ooh. He's tagging him. Smudger is tagging him at the moment, but nice elbow by Lucky. He tries it again there. To go for another one. He needs something. He needs that Lucky shot. Oh! oh him straight. Lucky's got on load here, but he gets caught with another body uppercut. Oh, oh slip straight again. One more time. Oh, he has no stamina, and he gets caught to the body. This oh. could be it. Smudger pouring well, it he on. He could be getting dropped here. Smudger backing him up along the fence. What a fight. Ooh, We're going to yeah, see a third round. Very intense. I'm hoping with the little bit of health that they'll regain that maybe Lucky might be able to find himself a lane for these body shots to stop uh, eating as many as he has. But uh, he's landed some really good counters here, and he hurt Smedger maybe two, three times in that last round. Yeah, he, as I was saying, he needed that lucky shot, and he got that lucky shot in the end. He must have been listening to you. Here we go. Hey, this is a really good fight. Nice uppercut. Lucky. Take down Denial and that he's stamina here. is gone for Lola. Oh, oh he's hurt. Oh, and it's over. It. Oh. Body off the head movement. Wow. BMF Smedger gets it done. And what a nice body shot. He caught him as he was coming back up from the head movement. Perfect timing because uh, otherwise it probably would have just been a drop. And uh, he got the instant the KO right there. Well, TKO, sorry, finished technically. I don't know what that what to call it, a body KO, I guess. That'd be, a I'd be, that'd be a knockout, I think. Maybe? Hmm. Either way, he put him down with that kick and beautifully set up by BMF Smudger. Yeah, definitely he made valuable investments to the body very early. And it paid dividends, made that perfect read, seen his opponent lean, and he uh, ate that big body roundhouse there. What a performance there from Smudger. And again, another third round. Yeah, a lot of three-rounders here. I honestly didn't expect a third round the way Smudger was and just destroying his body. But then A55 Lucky coming back in that second round, getting a few rocks of his own. 
Yeah, both guys definitely proven they're still very, very dangerous and a problem for 19, a lot of competitors. It was nineteen nineteen on the judges' scorecards. Hmm. Very close in days. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. What a great fight. That was an amazing fight. Okay. We would now be jumping into our third fight of the main card here. Can't see too well. I believe we have a Kobe Covington versus a I, I personally uh, think this next matchup could be fight of the night. BMF Vanyo is really good with Colby Covington. And uh, with his style, the way he plays, I think this is going to be very interesting against Assassino War with GFP. Uh, this, I don't know if they're going to be grappling often. Who knows? Maybe they cancel out and they both just stay on the feet. But there might be a lot of grappling in this fight. And it's going to be very interesting to see who comes out on top. Yeah, and very interesting. I mean, this wasn't even the original fight schedule. Both guys are stepping in for this fight. Um, taking it on short notice and like you were saying Mitch it's, they're going to deliver a real real war both guys have very good striking I have seen uh Vanio's Kobe Covington before and it is an absolute beast as the fighter is in real life and so is GSP so uh we will see how this plays out as these two guys will go to battle here in, in a few moments Kobe is very very good man his health stats are insane and he's got really really good grappling Despite what his stats say for a stand-up, he can compete with almost anyone. Obviously, he's going to get caught with by heavier power punchers, but regardless, man, he, he can compete with almost anyone in the division. He's got that third lung. Oh, yeah, he's got that. He's got that. No, he's got that second lung is what he said. That's it. <laughs> the second, the second lung. lung. Yeah, he's got the 100-star cardio. Yep, he does. And every other health stat is 94 or above. I've been playing him the last few days. He feels really good, honestly. Excited for this one, man. I, I really think both guys have great grappling credentials, but also I really think that the on the feet, it's going to be a chess match. I'd be probably Vanuel maybe looking to make it dirty and uh, Asasino War maybe a little bit more technical with GSP. Yeah, and then also, the, I mean, the, the fighters themselves are – Actually, a little bit similar in, in the fact that they both have, are very, very good at wrestling. Both have pretty good striking in real life as well. So, like you were saying, Matrix, we'll see if we'll see some grappling in this fight here. It might just cancel out. And GSP does have that five star jab. I believe it's five stars. It should be, but the way he fought in real life. And uh, I, I think all of Colby's top moves are just wrestling get ups and his takedowns and whatnot. Are they all five stars? Here we go. Touch of the gloves. Round one. Ready, Assassin will work in the jab. Break down the block, going for the clinch, and then a takedown immediately on Vanya, but Vanya rolls out of it. Ooh. Both guys getting caught there in the pocket. And GSP does have the reach advantage in this fight 76 inches versus 72 on Colby. Nice knee there from Assassin Award. Oh, he's unloading with combinations, too, as well. Breaking down the block little by little with that jab. Yeah, that five-star jab is absolutely killer. Even if you don't land it flush on a block, uh, it really, really drains it very fast. Oh, Take down the tap of and he gets it. Nice hooks. Then Paul goes back down, not looking to get reversed, faking the arm triangle. Landing some great shots again, picking his shots very well on the ground here, Vanyo is, and he denies the full guard transition and goes into top now. They move back into half guard. Nice denial there, the posture up. Assassin Award being patient, trying to find his moment to get up. Denied. 
immediately in the top mount off the posture up R1 transition. He's going to be looking for Sellers and looking to just pound him out on the floor right here. Denies immediately. Banyo is very, very good on the ground. And that yep. is one of the hardest denials to get off. Yeah, it really is. If not the hardest. Gets out of it. Back in the top Straight mount back to it. Posturing up, going for the side control transition. They are just being suffocating with that top control here. Going for crucifix. Gets the crucifix. Not good. Oh, they move into side saddle there. Yeah, I was just going to say, Vinny. Timing on that. Yeah, Assassin of War had to at least sprawl, but he gets the get up denied there. And the posture up. Blocks basically all of them. Goes for the get up again. He gets it this time. What will Vanyo do? Hit to the head or straight back down? He gets out. And trading in the pocket right now. Nice straight by Vanyo. See the end of the round. Nice F speed. Vanyo yeah. Rolling the entire time and also doing a good amount of damage to the head. Really interesting to see what Banyo does in this round. Is he maybe going to go for a takedown, try and set it up? What? I, I mean, he had some great success on the ground there. I think he should stick to that. The trading inside the Firing pocket. Firing in the pocket. And this fast, you know, has a really good jab at the moment. He's utilizing that very well. Gets hit in the chin. Oh, the pullback oh, up. pulls oh. back. And I slipped straight into back by Vanyo. Slip straight again. Pullback is not Trying there. to get another pullback. He's got to be careful with them. He's pulling back with nothing being thrown. Great defense. Right to the body off the straight. Pushing back again. Firing off oh, his ass. You know, gets caught with the head kick. Goes for the takedown and he gets a single leg high and he's going to oh, slam. Oh, he gets the slam. Denies the half guard transition. Denies it again. Now he has Ooh, him in side saddle. saddle. Going for the backside transition and he gets it. He takes the back of Vanya. No, he actually, well, he does still. He's in back sitting position now. No, on the backside, courtesy of Vanya. Gets denied of the uh, posture up. And now Vanyo rolls back into full guard. Think looking to reverse him, and he does immediately. Rolls him again. Now he's the one denying this it on is top. A great ground battle. And he also denies the half guard transition. Going for crucifix, does not get it. Does not get the uh, transition he was going for there either. Uh, Assassin of War getting caught with a few elbows on the ground now. Gets denied of the sprawl transition. Eating some heavy elbows here. He's done a ton of health, head health damage on the ground here. Going into the third, I think Look that's going to be a dividend for Vanyo. Blood pouring out. Vanyo letting his opponent waste some stamina on the bottom. Goes Going for the, for the arm triangle. Close is it? It's pretty close. He, he lets him off because there's only a few seconds left. Ten seconds left, and he pushes up. Lance Two nice strikes strike and has him hurt. That was suffocating pressure again. I mean, uh, Sassino War was doing some decent work on the ground. He got reversed, and then Vanyo was in control again right there. I mean, I think he's taken the last two rounds. 
I, I was just about to say that I believe it's Fan you know, 2-0 right now. I wonder where a bone breaker went. Not too sure, but we get kicked off into oh, the third. At the same time. The spin kick, oh, if he was in the opposite stance, that would have probably KO'd him. Oh, the lead hook, nice, oh. as he was leaning in. Full elbow, though, there for uh, Vanya. He gets caught with the elbow. Very back and forth right now. Ducks that straight. Nice kick to the body off the straight. Caught to the body as he tried to pull back. I said it earlier, Vanyo's got to be careful as he's pulling back. He could get a stun to his own body. And there's Asus and O'Wall with that body kick again. Another pullback elbow. Oh, he ducks the head ducks kick. The head kick and he's he has no head health. Oh, it's over. It is it. Is. The finish in the third round, or the second round, the third round. I, I, sorry, the third. third. I'm messing up. Wow. That was insane. Duck the head kick. I don't know how he knew the head kick was coming. He really hardly ever threw it the entire fight, but that was beautifully timed. Rear hook put him down. Wow, I just rewatched that on my. Uh, oh, that was crazy. That duck timing was perfect. Oh, if there was any sort of money betting on this right now, I'd be putting the rest of my money on everyone finishing the fight in the third round. <laughs> Every single fight but one has gone to the third. That's it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Advanio scoring a huge win there at the end of the season. Cap it off. Remember to go promote yourself in that chat. Even if you've lost, talk it up. Most of yeah. everyone's made it to the third round. And so far, it has been the BMF show. I, I mean, that, that, was, that was crazy. And the next we'll have but is I... Pursue in the Bantamweight division, Dominic Cruz versus Corey Sandhagen. What do you all think of this matchup? It's a very interesting matchup, and I would love to see this IRL as well. Just yeah, I wish seeing the technicality of both fighters and the styles of them would be an incredible matchup. But I still believe Sandhagen is at the top. He's he's still got a few more years to get to that prime, get through those prime years, and I believe he will become champ at one stage. I agree with Even that. You guys, I have some technical difficulties. Oh, it's all good, brother. <laughs> You're not the only one. Oh no, it just seems to be that day. That type of day, huh? Who won? Uh, Vanya, round three. Nice. Nice. BMF is two for t uh, two for four so far. And another Bulgarian versus Italian match. Oh, I'm sorry, Milian is actually British, but yeah. He, he is now Bulgarian. We consider him Bulgarian. <laughs> Am I like the only USA guy? Because <laughs> no, like everyone's from all these cool oh, European places, man, and I'm just like God. Colorado. Our native land. Very interesting fight coming up here, man. Uh, the footwork of both these men, both in real life and in game, obviously very good, but like. That's why I want to see it in real life. Whose footwork is better? Whose head movement is better? That, that that would be insane. We'll we'll see what both these men can do with these fighters. Corey Sandhagen having a bit. Uh, does he have a power advantage now? Uh, still, I don't know if, what Cruz's buff was because I don't play Cruz, but I know Cruz did get buffed pretty significantly. Mm. But uh, Corey Sandhagen does have 93 punch speed, 90 power. He has insane diversity of of uh, attacks like flying knees, spin kicks, hook kicks, uh, uh, side kicks, um, teeps. He's got a uh, ducking roundhouse as well. He, it, it's insane. He's got a lot of moves, man. You got to utilize those. He has, uh, I believe, 96 cardio as well or recovery, one of the two. He has insane health stats as well, five-star health stats. 
So uh, I don't know what the cruise buff is, but I, I think the better pick in this fight is Corey Sandhagen. Uh, but we'll see. BMF Million is a, a really good fighter, and so is Pursue, man. These guys are beast elite fighters. Yeah, and I, I'm interested in this dominant cruise pick here for Million. I mean, one of Million's biggest attributes is his timing and his patience with his striking. He's just so very, very accurate in there. And uh, now, like you were saying, Matrix, we're going to see the battle of footwork here. Who here has the better footwork and uh, this is going to be a very good one. I agree with that. He, Million has the one of the best timings I've seen, and he can pull off almost any sort of slip and dodge. And using that unique one that Dominic Cruz has, it will play into part very well for Million. I think immediately by Pursue. Utilizing that footwork both men very well already. A million cord on the pressure right now. Million doing a good job of going up and down, head, body, head, body. Pursue really looking to dig to the body consistently as well. Looking for that slip straight off it. Seems like a big speed differential early as well. Ducks that head kick. Ooh. He's getting caught with these uppercuts. His million though in the pocket. Heck, it doesn't win again. Nice lead hook. And so far, a uh, million does have a slight health advantage here. He's doing a good job at staying on his toes. Ooh. Good combination there. Nice teeth of the body by million. Using that teeth. From the side kick. Responsible for side kick. Switches to Southpaw. Has a really good switch stance, Corey. Yes, he does. Uh, both men have great switch stances. Their footwork is insane. I believe both of them have a 97 rating at footwork, or if not a bit higher. Oh, no. ducks the head kick again. Oh, ducks the head kick again. And that's that patience and timing of Million Heat. It's so good at making reads and seeing strikes coming. Lands the knee. Nice slip straight. Another teep there from Pursuvi. Oh, nice knee. Teep to the body again. He is really working that heavily. Pursuvi landed some really good body strikes here in the first round. Oh, nice. Oh, he's catching him. That straight Wind uppercut. Purple's off. Nice. Pursuvi really now, trying to find his range with the strike. Just to get that pullback. It's Pursue with the health advantage now, I believe. Wow, that's crazy. He has turned it around. Nice. Dang oh, it. gets caught. Uppercut. Yeah, Pursue is starting to see that uppercut. Kick. Now, Millie's got to be extra careful about hiding his body blows because Pursuvi is actively looking for that uppercut. Rips to the body oh, again. Oh, gets to the body again. So we'll be so clean with the combinations here. And a teep. Nice teep to the body by Million as well. And avoids the sidekick. Switch kick lands. Done a lot of body damage. Wow. What a round. Little love to cut at the end of the round. What a round. I was saying earlier that uppercut's going to be a problem eventually. And both men have done a decent amount of body damage, but so far, uh, Pursue does have the ha advantage in both areas, head health and body health. Good. You're good, you're good. Let's keep the pressure on. Let's take this round back. It's a very technical fight at the moment. Take down attempt from Bill Million, and he gets it. Dominic Cruz definitely has the better ground game. Nice denial there from Pursui, and he gets the full guard. I'm sorry, the back sitting there. Oh, nicely done, but that does not mean Pursui doesn't have the better ground game. Yeah, it's all about whose hands the controller is in. Pushes up. Nice elbows on the ground here from the bottom. 
Nice denial there. I believe there. they should do more damage than they do. An elbow from the bottom could be pretty lethal, especially if you've got your hand on their head and reefing the elbow into their head and pulling their head into it. Exactly. Imagine you could knock someone out from the bottom like Kevin Holland style in this game. That'd be insane. <laughs> I actually had a dream about this. Honestly, I've, I've re-watched that fight many times and I believe he got lucky big time because he got he caught Jacare talking. Yeah. Oh, big elbows from the top here for millions. I'm sorry, Pursuvi. It's back to half guard. Now it's Pursuvi with the with the pressure on the ground here. Gets the denial. Good job. Now you got it. Now you got it. Working the body now, Pursuvi. Smashing that body. The right side, of Dominic Cruz has the biggest red welt on it. Using the grapple advantage to pull him down in the side control, though. Beautiful job by Million. Million looking to try and get some more ground control time. Yeah, it's very close to fight. Back into side control. I think Million either needs to establish some more damage on the feet or some control time to even this round out. And they will go back to the feet. Oh, catching him with that nice jab hook. And the reach of Corey Sandhagen is working very nicely. Nice body kick there from Millian. Right, okay. right now. Stop, stop, stop. Streaming. It's a bit slow. That's the end of that round. And we get a third. Ready. Good. Stream did indeed freeze, unfortunately. Straight into it with five. All I see is million just. Just look at it and just going like, you want this? <laughs> like bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. You fucking want one? <laughs> Million putting the pressure on now has a mate bigger advantage in stamina in this third round. Gets caught with the head kick. Sidestep though. Goes to the body instead. He could have actually had a rock there. Flinch flying knee. Oh, he almost landed that flying knee. Could have been very dangerous. Yeah, there you go. Good shot. Good shot. Spinning level does not land. He the body. Million pouring it on. Pursuvi blocking everything there nicely. He's looking to work right now. Again, catching him to the body. Denies the takedown. Mm. Million has a big stamina advantage That's... at the moment, as you're pointing out. And there's still two minutes left in this fight. Million could wait it off a little bit and pull the pressure on, but get caught with that spinning elbow. Nice fake to the head kick. Million still right in his face. Straight by Million, going back to the body again after the uppercut. He's making Pursuvi fight back to waste his stamina more as well. And he's also uh, been landing some again. pretty good body roundhouses as well. Ooh, good uppercut there from Pursuvi. Nice knees. Oh, nice a oh clinch again. Going back to the body does not land. Pursue having great defense right now. That body though of uh, Pursue is very hurt. And he's got to watch for that uppercut. Oh, oh, the oh, gets caught to the head kick. Oh, the uppercut lands low for him and he hurts him. Doesn't no, quite. Pursue is always dangerous, oh. even in situations like that. 
I mean, look at that. He knew the uppercut was coming and slipped right out the way. He's so smart. Oh, he it like it. It's so what a post. Fight. Wow. What a wow, fight. And they go the distance. What a fight. I, I feel like a few more seconds and Sandhagen was out because he had no stamina right in that last second. That was insane. What a fight. That was a five rounder. I believe this has gone to BMF million, but what a fight. Ladies you never know. I believe Pershu might have position. taken that second round. Three judges score the contest 29 28. Declared the winner by your. In the first round, by as, 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 Oh, he got it. Uh, Pursue Do not let me judge. I'm terrible, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Decision victory for Pursuvi. He stops the BMF hype train here in round three. Beautiful, beautiful work there from him. Wow. I'd love to see these stats. Was it 29, 28 all round or split? 29, 28 all round. Yeah. Wow, that, that was crazy. It was 29, 28 across the board for uh, Corey Sanhagen, so Pursue won the first two rounds. Wow. But props to Million, I mean, I, you could argue that maybe it could have been his fight. He was battling back the entire time. You know, got rocked with that head kick that last fight, and he just came back. I mean, beautiful, beautiful fight from both guys. That was a great fight for sure, yeah. A bit surprised at the result, but I also don't know how to judge fights, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just commentate them, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's all we do. Yeah, I got to stop sticking my Ooh. That that looked like Million had that third round big time in the bag. Yeah, but I also thought Million won the first round. Well, so pretty well, that first interesting round, there. Was doing a lot of pretty good counters as well, though. At towards the end of it, EA has seen it for Pursue, so we are going with that. Beautiful job done by Pursue. Both men put it on the guard, but both men showed a lot of heart, and that fight was insane. And then that leads us into our main event, Ungodly War, EMF going on for the uh, final title fight of Season 4. I believe it's this Season is, 4. This is going to be a very big one. Stolian has been making very, very good waves here in the PlayStation division, and he gets this shot today against Ungodly War, uh, a guy who beat his teammate for the belt just last week. So I'm very interested to see what type of style and approach Stoney is going to come out with McGregor. We know he's very, very good with him. Yeah, and on the flip side, Ungodly is really, really good with Dustin Poirier. He plays McGregor himself, so even though they fight a bit different in-game, having the southpaw fighter like uh, Dustin Poirier, as he's like calling all the time, is very beneficial, to be honest. It's going to be yeah. a back and forth kind of a war. I've been going to this fight since last week. <laughs> just the, so the technicality of just the technicality of Stoyan is just wow, picking apart his opponents like he does, but ungodly war. He was one of the biggest underdogs in most of his title fights. And he came out on top for most of those underdog fights as well. Yeah, he so did. it's going to be a very, very interesting fight with that Dustin Poirier pick, and especially Stoyan going with the McGregor pick at lightweight. Yeah, McGregor does have a 93 chin at lightweight. Uh, his health stats are a bit lower, but he's still very powerful and plays very well. So, I mean, it's not, it's, it's kind of like the uh, Jorge Masvidal situation at welterweight right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see what both these men do. It is three to four at the moment. For, uh, Stoyan has four against uh, Ungodly War. This is going to be a very great matchup. I have seen these two fight before, and they always put on a show. And Ungodly will we has see a third a round, pressure. or will we see a fifth round? <laughs> he has great pressure striking, and uh, uh, Stoyan is a bit more calm and calculated. I wouldn't say calm; I shouldn't say it like that. He, he's just a bit more. Technical, a little bit more, not too much. And uh, both these guys like to pick their shots, but ungodly non stop pressure. Like, he likes to put it, pour it on people.
both these men can ready up whenever we are ready to get into this final uh, title fight of the season. That's going to be a no. good one. And I, I'm very sorry that because this fight deserves to be watched by a lot more people than it is going to be watched now due to technical issues. But it is what it is. We're st at least we're still going to see the fight. This is the last fight of season four. And I now believe it's going to deliver. Season five sound. It will deliver. Season five know. sounds nice. Yeah, season five looking real good. Real, real ripe for the taking. Gotta, gotta get that record, Chris, guys. But here we go. Last title fight. Straight off the bat with the leg kick. Nice working the leg early would be a great job for Ungodly War because McGregor does not have the best leg health. Yeah, especially at lightweight. He's getting caught early though, he has uh, low head health. Connor is such a sniper, man, even at lightweight. All oh, pulls back on that uppercut. Right. And arguably, this is the best character of Stuyan. We'll yeah, see he if he's able top. to utilize it. Very, very, very proficiently. Ungodly landing is a nice shot to his own right now. Anything that comes from that left hand of McGregor is devastating. But his uppercut almost nine times out of ten will get a stun. And it's almost yeah, discouraging. Uh, you gotta be really careful if you're on Godly War. He's throwing a lot of really nice leg kicks here. But uh, a lot of times, if throwing comes through for one, two, it can be devastating. Like you were saying, Flash, that left hand just packs so much Ooh. power. Catching with the real hook there, Stoy, on that left hand. Yeah, as you guys are saying, so much power. Apparently enough to back Dustin Corey up like crazy there. That was weird. Both guys oh, okay. swinging. Lands nice the la control. lead hook in Orthodox, which is straight back to Southpaw. Oh, you're doing a good job with the in and out movement here so far. On God, some beautiful leg kicks. Oh. They'll drain the power and force him to switch stances eventually. Another one. I don't think Stoyan has checked one yet. This is a good game plan here for Ungodly. He can, uh... Oh, there. There's the check. Whoa! Oh, yes. oh, yes. Pull oh, back, oh. Be impatient. Doesn't go in. And you gotta think being the last season's final champion gives you a lot of momentum coming into the new season. Oh, 100%. Definitely. Stoyan's leg is already chewed. Has him in orthodox now. Takes a little bit of power away, not that much. Low yes. kicks are not used enough in this game. I don't see I many agree. people just uh, sticking to the the um, the gameplay of going actively for the legs of their opponent because this is taking a lot of their footwork, a lot of their power. And it's making like if you're if you're going with Connor, you want to be in the um, in the southpaw sense. And there we go. Stuyan goes back to southpaw. He realized that he was having a lot more success back then. But straight away, ungodly continues working that lead leg. I think it's due to checking. If you get checked on the kick, it discourages you a lot. But that was a great first round for ungodly war. Stoyan's gonna have to adjust in the second round, man. Yeah, and um, you seen Stoyan come out. He had a. Had his plan, uh, had his offense working, but soon as those leg kicks started becoming a real problem, kind of stifled it a little bit. Gonna see if they keep ripping those in this uh, second round. He really should. Uh, Stoyan needs to. Uh, I'm not gonna say maybe he needs to get a finish, but he really needs to start checking these bad. Another one. Another one. Nice flip by Stoyan. Oh, Valley Ward drops him down. Oh, wait, that oh. leg is compromised. Oddie's uh, toe on that leg right now. Nice knee to the body. Champion. Just checked by that kick, though. We've seen barely any body work by Stuyan. Ungodly is throwing a body kick and a 
and a hook to the body every now and then. Jab straight body. Oh, nice. Are you? Body kick. Ooh. Another leg kick from the champion. Wow, the champion eating him up. Not looking good here for Stoyan. You can tell Ungali War came in here with a game plan to really neutralize that southpaw Conor McGregor here and make him fight in his less powerful stance. It's working very effectively. Yeah, it was very smart by Ungali. Exactly. We're not seeing anything flashy in that fight. It's so straight up boxing. Well, say straight up kickboxing. There aren't any like spinning heel kicks, nothing too crazy. They're both sticking to the game plan, they're both sticking to just using simple combos but effective ones. Definitely so, and oh, oh. he gets caught. We hear Stoyan. Stoyan's rock. Nice jab straight there, but oh. Stoyan. The champion getting caught here a couple times. That head health is extremely low for Stoyan. He's got the, the Ungali's low too, but uh, I think his is a little bit lower. Overall health too is way lower. But all it takes is one, especially with Connor. Nice hook there from Stoyan. Yeah, it's going to be very, very tough. You see that left leg is now chewed up just oh, as bad. Yeah. And he's not. The champion pressing the action. Oh, the oh. Up. big uppercut. He drops him. Gets the up kick. Up kick. Oh, the spinning heel oh. kick. End of the round. What a way to cap off that round. Ungodly is dominating this fight. Yeah, Ungali is just being so, so proficient and effective everywhere the fight goes. He's going first, he's going last, he's got those leg kicks going, and it's very, very tough for Stoyan to really get offense off because he's getting blasted with that leg kick every time. Oh, round three. Let's see what happens. Are we going to have a third round finish and cap it off with only one fight, uh, not going to the third? Or yeah, what... And Godly War's head is actually fairly low as well. Oh, he gets hurt! Oh. Oh. Wow! He gets Big knockdown from the challenger. And he has a blinking head health now, too. They're... Stoyan still oh, has he power there. to finish this. Good head movement there from Stoyan. Very good head movement, especially while Rock. Another leg kick. Boyan needs to finish it this round. The only key to victory here is trying to find that head. He's got the head in a pretty good place. But he's getting blasted with these leg kicks. Jab straight body kick again by Ungodly. Both of being very cautious at the moment. Oh, oh he gets caught again, though. Rock. He gets put down. This could be it. Doing his head movement. So clean. Oh! Oh! Wow. Jab, jab, you heard him. Jab, hurt him. Storm has him against the cage. Oh, he's he dropped. dropped him. Challenger's trying to finish Can it. Can he finish it? Can he finish oh, my it goodness. right here? Oh, my goodness. Oh! Will this be it? Be the best, boy. Oh, yeah. The new Whoa, champion. New. Oh my god, what a fight! He wow. finished it. That what major a side finish. lunge. That major side lunge was what won him that right there. That sequence. His head movement. I said it at the end of the second round. I'm and going his head oh, with flash. Oh my wow. god, we have the new PS champion at the end of the season. BMF Stoyan gets it done. Repping BMF. Finally capturing the belt back for them.
Wow, I'm... What a fight, man. That was insane. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Yeah, another round three, three finish. Only one fight uh, that didn't go to decision or round three. And that was your fight. Sorry, I didn't mean to remind you. That was an amazing fight. Wow. What a what a fast turn of events. I mean, you seen the head moves from Stone was so good at this wild rock too, just moving in that major side lunge. Just beautiful work there. Got him against the fence, dropped him and finished it. That was an insanely good fight. You need to see that again. We need to uh we need to see that again. Yeah, can yeah, we need someone to see actually let me know what's bubble heading because I've been hearing people talk about bubble heading, and I, uh, it's, it's what you, it's what you call a good head movement, <laughs> right? Yeah, that, that's that's what I thought because I mean, yeah. If anyone knows what's bubble heading, please let me know. Please enlighten me with this information because uh, it is when you go uh, left and right with your head consistently. But what I saw was Stoyan. Every time uh, Angali threw a jab to follow up with a round strike, he would move his head. That's that's what I saw. But I would also uh, I I don't I don't I don't quite know maybe his classified as bobble heading. I don't fully know. I I don't fully know. I I don't do that myself. So I thought bobble heading was only on the on the ground. Like I've heard about it only on the ground somehow. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Bubble, head, bu bubble heading is not that effective as Stoney was doing it. I'll tell you that. I know what that is. And they get tagged up. Yeah, yeah. especially to the body. Yeah, especially to the body. And, like, yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. Obviously, a tough loss for Ungodly, but still, he fought a great fight. So, uh, bubble heading is constantly spamming head movement so you can't get hit. This is, this is, what, this is what fighters do. Like, yeah. you don't want to get hit. When I'm sparring, if you see me, when, I, when I'm sparring, you're going to say, oh, such a head movement spammer. Because I'm, I'm just always off the center. That's the whole purpose of head movement. Be off the center. Yeah, and there's other, the strikes. there's other strikes you can use instead. Yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. Good, good event. Unfortunately, so many technical issues. But it is what it is. We dealt with it, we delivered, hope everyone enjoyed it. We're going to be back next Saturday with uh, with a tournament. It's going to be a Conor McGregor only, Conor McGregor mirror tournament. So you can uh, put your signups in the Saturday sign-up section. We already have, I believe, o o uh, over 16 people signed up, if I'm not wrong. I can't count right now, but either way, put your names over there, sign yourself up. And soon uh, you're going to get some information on when uh, ECA is coming back with the next season and how everything is going to happen. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back very soon, hopefully on Twitch if everything goes right.